Uh, hello class, my name is Adrian. Uh, this is Robert. We are going to be on the negative side, uh, contesting the affirmative for uh, raising the minimum wage. Um, as my uh, colleague over here, Andres, said that they wanted to raise the uh, minimum wage from seven, the uh, federal minimum wage from 725 to 1010, uh, we are saying that we should keep it at 725 because of our reasons. Uh, first reason will be our significance of it, which is the affirmative states that raising the minimum wage would increase economic activity and spur job growth. But on actually increasing the minimum wage would force businesses to lay off employees and raise unemployment levels. Uh, our inherency would be the current, or their in inherency is the current minimum wage is not high enough to allow people to afford everyday essentials. And ours would be raising the minimum wage would increase the cost of consumer goods. And our solvency would be the minimum wage, or there is the minimum wage has not kept up with inflation. And in reality, it's actually been increasing the federal minimum wage would disproportionately harm the poorest across the United States. So for our significance, increasing the minimum wage would force businesses to lay off employees and raise unemployment levels. Sub point one. The job industry will take huge cuts in the workforce. According to the Congressional Budget Office, and in their, um, their study, the effects of minimum wage increase on employment and family income in 2014, it states Congressional Budget Office has projected that a minimum wage increase from 725 to 1010 would result in the loss of 500,000 jobs. And that was just from the beginning. Uh, second point would be job growth will actually dwindle. Uh, according to Zimmerman and David Newmark, on their study of the effect of New Jersey's minimum wage increase on fast food employment, uh, they say that New Jersey's minimum wage, they did their study to see comparing states and how when they increased their uh, minimum uh, wage, just like California wants to, from the federal to $15, uh, they stated that New Jersey's minimum wage increase led to a 4.6% uh, decrease in, in um, or increase in, in unemployment uh, uh, compared to Pennsylvania. Uh, our inherency was stating that raising the minimum wage would actually increase the cost of consumer goods. So the raise would actually, so sub point one is the raise would actually do opposite of what the affirmative expects it to do. According to Daniel Arson and Eric French, uh, they state a 2013 article by the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago stated that if the minimum wage is increased, fast food restaurants would pass on almost 100% of their increased labor costs onto customers and that other firms may do the same. So that's essentially stating that they, can't, they, can't, they won't take the cut for it and thus will lose jobs and will take, we as customers and purchasing buyers would actually take the full amount of that. Um, Second point would be businesses would have to cut costs in order to still profit and thrive. Uh, according to Greg McClure, and uh, raising wages $15 an hour, he states that employees, uh, university study found that raising the wage of fast food restaurant employees to $15 or $22 per hour would result in the price increase of 4.3 and 25% respectively or a reduction in product size between 12% and 70%, a hamburger would be much smaller. So essentially you'd be paying almost the same price, if not a little more, for a lot less food. Our solvency would be uh, increasing the federal minimum wage, but disproportionately harm the poorest areas of the United States. Sub point one would be poverty and wealth is not distributed evenly through the United States. According to a Missouri Economist Research and Information Center, uh, Mississippi had the lowest cost of living at 83.5% of the national average, while Hawaii has the highest at 168.6%. That saying is their blanket statement of raising everything from uh, 725 to 1010 would actually exacerbate the situation because there's different levels of poverty throughout, throughout the United States. And then our second point would be the portion of wage to inflation cannot be a a static wage. Uh, according to Andrew G. Biggs and Mark J. Perry, in areas like Mississippi where the cost of living and average incomes are especially low, employers would need to spend proportionally more to pay their minimum wage. Employees then and employers in higher costs, like in Hawaii for example, and yet would be unable to cover the cost by raising prices because their customers would not be able to afford them. Um, Another study also done by uh, the Congressional Budget Office, the effects of minimum wage increase, 
in 2014 states congressional budget offices um, uh, minimum wage would actually uh, harm the poorest areas of the U.S. So falling back on our uh, insolvency, it also states that Harry or uh, PhD research for and uh, that will be our negative, uh, our negative, uh, um, our negative side to the affirmative uh, to the affirmative. Thank you. Thank you.